Ford's Focus ST Hot Hatch is back with a mission, this fourth generation version being smarter, classier and more dynamically adept. In hatch or estate guys with petrol or diesel power, it's a car that's now easier to get the most from, and a machine you can enjoy to the full on your favourite road without afterwards having to pay for it with the kind of over firm ride you simply don't want in everyday traffic. Ultimately, so many quick cars can feel, well, rather irrelevant. Here's one that's anything but. Right from the get-go, this fourth generation Focus ST feels like a serious piece of hot hatch engineering with sharper steering that makes it feel darty and alert. This character trait turning out to be an integral part of the vivacious handling that makes this car the accomplished shopping rocket it undoubtedly is. The faster you go through the bends, the better it feels. As before, there are petrol and diesel engine options, the green pump fueled unit, now a detuned version of the 2.3 litre four cylinder unit used in the Mustang and the Focus RS. Here, it develops 280 PS, 30 PS more than the previous generation two litre EcoBoost model could offer, sprints to 62 miles an hour in 5.8 seconds and offers a class leading 420 newton meters of torque. The alternative diesel variant, which is what we're trying here, has nearly as much pulling power, 400 newton meters, but a rather less impressive 190 PS available from its two litre EcoBlue power plant. Still, there's compensation, of course, in the black pump fueled version's efficiency. WLTP rated at up to 58.8 MPG on the combined cycle, with 125 grams per kilometre of NEDC rated CO2 emissions. Whatever kind of Focus ST you go for, petrol or diesel, hatch or estate, there's lots to aid this car's prodigious cornering bite. A stiffer C2 platform, grippy Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tyres and a clever SLA suspension setup that lowers by 10mm, incorporates thicker anti-roll bars and features spring and damper units that are 20% stiffer at the front and 13% firmer at the rear. Driving modes also now feature on an ST for the first time, the three main ones being normal, slippery and sport, the latter setting delivering a far more alert feel. Petrol models feature standard CCD adaptive damping and an ELSD electronic limited slip differential to help get traction down in the bends. Plus, with that EcoBoost engine, you can also order an optional seven speed paddle shift auto gearbox. With both engines, you're probably going to want the optional performance pack. On a petrol version, this gives you rev matching, which relieves you of the need to lift off the throttle between upward gear changes, along with launch control and an extra track driving mode. On a diesel variant, the performance pack gives you rather less, but you do get the extra track setting and it adds back in the CCD adaptive damping system that you otherwise wouldn't get on an EcoBlue model. Overtaking presence is key with a car like this, of course, and this revitalised Focus ST gets plenty of it. With this bolder, more confident front grille shaped to optimise cooling, its lower section, as before, partly obscured by the number plate, which sits just above this stylized lower intake. When it comes to the really significant styling changes made to this fourth generation Focus ST model though, you'll learn more from a profile perspective, especially if you choose this five door hatch body shape over the alternative estate variant. A full body styling kit is of course a continuing part of the ST package and includes these bulging side skirts that emphasize the 10 millimeter lowered chassis height. The wheels are now a size larger than before. These large 19 inch magnetite finished rims and they'll be embellished with evocative red brake calipers if you've paid extra for the optional performance pack. Right, what's it like at the wheel? Well, if your perspective is that Ford has been a touch conservative with the exterior styling, then you won't change that opinion once inside because at first glance, it doesn't feel all that much different from an ordinary ST line variant in the standard range. The main change lies with the addition of these grippy Recaro seats trimmed with contrast stitching in a combination of leather and an Alcantara-like material called Miko Dynamica. 
alloy paddle covers, faux carbon trim inlays, an ST embossed aluminium gear knob, grey stitched floor mats and branded scuff plates on the sills complete the ST embellishments. These chairs position you a touch lower this time round, though you're still perfectly placed behind the thick rimmed leather stitched sports steering wheel on which resides the all important drive modes button. As usual with a modern Ford, the center of the dash is dominated by an eight inch Sync 3 infotainment touchscreen. This one, your access point for navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone mirroring, Ford Pass Connect Wi-Fi connectivity and a 10 speaker 675 watt B and O 360 degree sound setup. Time to move rearwards. The space on offer here certainly doesn't redefine the current segment standard, but it does at least now typify it. In this focus, backseat folk are at last now treated much as they would be in a rival Golf GTI, thanks to the way that this Mark IV model's new C2 platform has freed up 56 millimetres more knee clearance, 78 millimetres more leg room, and 60 millimetres more shoulder room. We'll finish with a look at the boot, which in this hatch variant is just as small as it was on the previous model, just 273 litres of capacity being available on models equipped with a mini spare. That's partly why Ford is also offering the estate body shape we mentioned earlier, which can take 541 litres with all the seats in place. Fold down the 60-40 split rear backrest and 1,250 litres of space can be freed up in this hatch model. An estate fitted with a mini spare will give you up to 1,576 litres. This Focus ST is arguably the very definition of what a car of this kind should be. A guilt-free, fast hatch with near supercar performance and technology that's relatively affordable and perfectly practical. You get a class-leading ride and handling balance, estate versatility if you want it, and the option of low diesel running costs if that's needed. All in a car that deserves to be remembered fondly in a fine tradition of fast forts.